Okay, here's the uh, the mini camper. Uh, on the electrical system, what we have here is a SeaTech uh, D250SA. Um, because we're not running very big batteries, we don't need the, the double. Um, you know, sometimes you see guys with two of these, and basically they're just running to bigger batteries. But uh, since I think our capacity is 120 amp hours, we don't really need that. Uh, we have a, an inverter here for our AC power. And uh, obviously there are different fuses for our accessories here. Um, the reason why there's two batteries in here is because they're both 6 volt in series. So uh, they're running a 12 volt system. And they're the optimal red top so I could, you know, I could put them upside down, put them on their side. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, if you look here, I have this battery guard. That's basically a, US, uh, a Bluetooth transmitter. It tells me if the batteries are charging, uh, what if they're charged, or uh, if they're getting low. Um, as far as the SeaTech system is concerned, uh, it worked really well. Uh, it basically, it charges off the alternator and uh, solar uh, panel if you have one. At the moment, I have it charging off the solar panel. You can see the power button here with the solar panel, and it's being, the energy's been being transferred to the battery. Uh, if, it's, if it's running off the alternator, it'll obviously have a light here where the A is. And so for my solar panel, uh, I have this cord that runs out and goes up to a flexible panel on that side. Do a walk around here. Let's see it easier. And usually, so. So usually I have this uh, solar panel here in the front as the uh, sunshade. So it acts as a sunshade plus, you know, charging the batteries. Um, yeah. I also have the seats here from Zoom that uh, flip around. So basically you can flip the seats around and then this bed then turns in kind of quasi as a table. Um, yeah, and that's the uh, electrical system. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, there's an explanation. Um, I have a smart alternator, uh, alternator because this car is newer. And uh, if you have a smart alternator, you need to run uh, basically this red cable here. Um, one going to the ground, obviously, and the other one going to an ignition switch. Uh, basically, anything that's uh, receiving that uh, 12, uh, 12 volt charge from the alternator. And basically, this is just reading the voltage to say, hey, the, uh, the main battery is charged. Uh, now you can switch and start to charge your accessory batteries. Uh, if you don't have that in there, then the, the sensors in here don't, you know, they can't recognize that the other battery is charged. And uh, this will not charge the accessory batteries correctly. So that's important to have. Um, the inverter here, uh, it's not a very big one, 300 watts, but uh, it's big enough for what we need charging laptops or tablets or whatever. Uh, most of the things we have are charged off a of USB, but uh, in the case that we do need uh, alternating current, we, we have it here. So um, another thing that's important to consider is uh, how big your batteries are. Um, obviously, if you don't need a really big uh, inverter if you're not running very big batteries because then you won't get the full amount of power uh, that the inverter actually needs. So. Uh, this this whole system here is removable. Uh, you can see the handles here on the sides. Uh, so if anything happens or I want to charge it outside the car, uh, I can just remove it. Um, just like everything else here in the system, I can remove everything and you would never know that it was actually installed. Um, obviously you see the cable here. Um, it's running from the battery. And uh, but yeah, yeah, it worked really well so far and uh, we look forward to, to more camping trips with it.